everyone, this is Katna here. So in this video, we are going to solve a differential equation by reducing it to variable separable form. Okay, let's get started. Given question, solve dy by dx equals to x minus 2y plus 1 by 2x minus 4. Solution. Given equation is dy by dx equals to x minus 2y plus 1 by 2x minus 4y. It's written as dy by dx is equals to x minus 2y plus 1 by take 2 common from these two terms. You will get 2 into x minus 2y. Okay, now consider it as equation 1. Let x minus 2y equals to t. Differentiating on both sides with respect to t, you will get d by dx of x minus 2y equals to d of t by dx. This becomes dx by dx minus 2 into dy by dx equals to dt by dx. Okay. dy dx by dx is 1 minus 2 into dy by dx equals to dt by dx. Now take this dt by dx to left hand side and 2 into dy by dx to right hand side. Then you'll get 1 minus dt by dx equals to 2 into dy by dx. Okay. Now take this to the left hand side. This becomes 1 by 2 into 1 minus dt by dx is equals to dy by dx. So we have dy by dx is equals to 1 by 2 into 1 minus dt by dx. So you can replace dy by dx equals to 1 by 2 into 1 minus dt by dx in the equation 1. And x minus 2y is replaced by t. Okay. So equation 1 becomes One becomes one by two into one minus d t by d x is equals to t plus one by two t. Okay, since x minus two y equals to t. So we have replaced x minus two y by t. All right. So now, you can write it as 1 minus dt by dx is equals to 2 into t plus 1 by 2 into t. 2, 2 gets cancelled. Again, this becomes 1 minus dt by dx equals to t plus 1 by t. Now, take this d by dx, dt, sorry, dt by dx to right hand side. And t plus 1 by t to left hand side. So you would write it as 1 minus t plus 1 by t equals to dt by dx. So this becomes t minus of t plus 1 by t. Okay. Better. Hmm? Equals to dt by dx. So this becomes t minus t minus into plus minus 1 by t equals to d 
dt by dx. So here minus t plus t gets cancelled. You get minus 1 by t equals to dt by dx. Now take this dx2 numerator of the left hand side and this t2 numerator of right hand side. Okay. Fine. So now we are integrating on both sides. Here the variables are separable, right? Now we will integrate on both sides. We get Since integral dx equals to x plus c, integral x power n dx is equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c for n not equals to minus 1. You can write it as integral t into dt is equals to minus integral dx. So you are having power of t is 1. So now you can apply this formula for n not equals to minus 1. So this becomes t power 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 equals to minus integral dx is x plus integral constant c. So you get t square by 2 equals to minus x plus c. Now take this minus x to left hand side. You could write it as t square by 2 plus x equals to c. Again you could write it as since you are having 2 in the denominator of the first term so we will multiply the whole expression with 2. We will multiply the above equation with 2 so that 2 gets eliminated from the denominator. So that you can cancel the 2 in the denominator of the first term. Okay. T squared plus 2x equals to 2c. Again, 2c is again a constant, right? So you can write 2c as simply c. Now, now substitute t equals to x minus 2y. So this becomes x minus 2y whole square plus 2x equals to c. This, which is the required solution for the given equation. So we have seen a problem from variable separable in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.